Hello and welcome to another video. Um, this time, even though I'm in my MV6, it's about the new Nero EV, the 2022 model, um, which has just come out. It's a face facelifted version of the old Nero uh, with lots of improvements. Um, I had a, about an hour and a half to test drive it, but I thought I'd try my car scanner and my ODB dongle in it. Sorry, on onboard diagnostics dongle. Um, I've got a Conway, but um, you can't get them anymore, I don't think. Um, I'll put a link in the description of where you can in the car scanner kind of website. Just got an up-to-date list, and this just plugs in the diagnostic port and allows you to see what's going on with the ECU, um, various things. The thing I focused on instead of just looking at um, dials and gauges and readings of temperature and this, that, and the other was uh, whether or not. You can see the um, the actual module, the version numbers and stuff like that, and you can. Um, I'll show you what I did and how you how you get the list off, and I'll put this on the screen so you can see the version of the of the vehicle motor control unit, the motor control unit, the BMS battery management system version numbers, onboard charger, integrated gateway and power control module, multimedia system, parking guide, TPMS that's the tire pressure monitor. Drive door, EPS, this is electric power steering, HVAC, that's your climate control, the E shifter is this thing here. Um, in, in the early EV6s, we had something called zombie mode, which you seem to be getting again now on the new Nero EV. And we had a software update to the E shifter, which is how you get it into gear. So don't be surprised if they come out with something for that. I don't know for sure what's causing the problem, uh, but it might be that, it might not be. But you, you can compare versions of what's in your car with people who don't have the problem. Um, so it might help narrow down what's going on. Um, adaptive cruise control is another module with more software. The ABS control units, the brakes, SRS airbag, EPS, power steering, lane assistance front camera view um, even the base model seems to have a front camera for the um, adaptive cruise control uh, e-call that's the emergency button thing up there and the dashboard that's got its own um, version software numbering system anyway I hope you find this useful and uh, I'll just put the rest of the video on I'm going to try the uh, the new profile of car scan on this. Connect. Yeah, this was recently updated to add the Nero EV into the profile. And um, the thing I'm going to try is to see if I can read the, uh, the ECU identifiers. And you can see the internal version numbers. There we go. Um, you can, you can read the version numbers of all the internal components and motor control units and the other stuff like you can on the EV6. The version of the the BMS. Yeah. And each of the ECU pro things have been probed. It's just like on the EV6 when it gets probed. So it's working the same. It's got similar things internally. Forty-nine to fifty-one, nearly there. Forty-nine. 
automatic drive in ADAS. And then I will export that. Thank you for watching. 